Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome. Tonight I'm bringing you another tarantula egg sac video. This is an Aphanapelma cochis. Chowcotis. Oh, uh, Aphanapelma. Aphanapelma chowcotis, also known as a Tucson blonde. This little mama laid her egg sac about four weeks ago and she's still holding it. It looks good. She and her entire enclosure have been in my tarantula incubator. So fingers crossed it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and take it today. We're gonna open it and take a look. Without further ado, let's get started. So here is the lovely lady and you can see her egg sac that she is guarding so fiercely. So I'm just gonna kind of take this little lid to distract her and Make sure I pull it away without hurting anybody very gently. Good girl, what a good girl. And uh, you can see she looks a little thin. I don't always feed my moms when they have egg sacs. Woo, look at those fangs. All right, you can have that lid for a few minutes. Because sometimes when they are thin from laying an egg sac and they kind of get into that feeding frenzy mode, sometimes that will kind of induce them to cannibalize the egg sac. And in the wild, moms don't usually leave their egg sacs to, to go and feed. And usually a female will not even reproduce an egg sac if she does not have an adequate body weight to not only produce the egg sac, but then go a few weeks, go off feed for um, a month to six weeks so they can see their egg sac through. With these species, there are some animals that are egg gluers, and so they'll actually kind of knit their egg sac to the wall in a silk hammock. And those moms kind of stay near the sacs, but they don't often stand over them the way terrestrial species often do. But anyway, I digress. So I'm just kind of clipping away some of the debris that, uh, cause this is gonna get plenty messy. And the last egg sac that I did, which was a Brachypelma albopelosum. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful mess that was. This just a uh, preliminary inspection. Nice, white, fluffy, cottony. As I turn it, the eggs feel loose. That's all signs of them viable egg sac. So I'm going to find the top where it's kind of knitted together by the mom and pull up, give it a little bit of tension so I can cut into it. Obviously you never want to cut any of the eggs. So you want to make sure that you're just cutting through the layers of silk. And you can see I still have more layers of silk to go. So now that I've looked a little bit, I'm gonna make another small incision. Small incision. Okay, now I can see into the sack. So from here, I'm gonna gently pull. And, oh wow. Yes, this is what you want to see. Oh yes, this is exactly what you want to see. I don't know if you guys can see yet. Trying to be careful. You never want to hurt the littles that are in here. Okay, I'm going to give another little snip. Alrighty, so... I'm just going to go back and forth between tearing with scissors, uh, tearing with tweezers and cutting with scissors as I kind of see fit. If I see an area where there are no slings and I know I can just cleanly slice it open, then I will. But if you can't see what you're doing, you need to be very careful. So, hope you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. But that looks like a 100% viability right there. I'm not seeing any 
dead eggs that are corroding. You can see um, there's, these are all, it looks like already first in star. These aren't even eggs with legs. And every single one looks perfect. They're already crawling around. Now these do ideally need to incubate until the second instar stage. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and essentially just kind of pour it into the incubation chamber. So kind of just gently, you wanna make sure not to squish anybody. Turn it inside out and let them gently fall. They're basically weightless, so although it seems like that's a long way for such a tiny animal to fall, believe me, they they fall or pretty much almost like float down from trees and stuff when they're little. And in fact, a lot of times I'll even leave the egg sac in there so some of them can kind of stay hidden out for a while if they if they want to. But I sort of turn it inside out to make sure nobody is smothered. In the last egg sac that I opened, it had started to turn about 60% of it was infertile. It actually started to uh, have some bacterial growth on the outside. And I am totally convinced that all of those babies would have likely perished if I hadn't opened the egg sac and combed through it and separated all the bad eggs. If I hadn't combed through those eggs and uh, basically rescued each of those little slings, which we ended up with, I don't know, maybe 60 to 100. I, I can't uh, look at things and tell how, how big they are or how many there are. I'm just, that's not my strength. So this little mass here, that's a whole bunch of their um, first molts. And there's another little one here. And so there's just a kajillion babies. No, just kidding. There's probably the last Chow Cody's egg sac I knew of had about 300 babies. So I'm guessing around the 250, 300 range. This is cool. I do a lot of breeding loans. This one, both adults belong to us. So this is a really good yield. And I think this is it for what I'm gonna do with them today. Uh, the more you kind of manipulate them, the better possibility you have of potentially injuring one of the slings. They are quite fragile. I'm just sort of separating, separating them out a little so they're not piled on top of each other, which is more important in the eggs with legs stage because these can actually crawl a little bit. Uh, that was it, another successful egg sac opening. I um, really am super excited. I did not see one bad egg in this. So that is actually a 100% success rate and that's really exciting. So this was the Afinopelma Chalcotis. Comment below how many babies you think are here. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. You call me a saint but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thing but I'm just a singer Or busy and pretty Just making believe Oh, I am falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know